Hey guys, I wanted to share with you quickly my 2016 blog binder to help me stay organized. I hope it's not too shaky. But anyway, picked up this binder um, from Target. It was about $6. I invested in a new one. I had an old one. Um, it was just like a plain one. So you can get any kind of binder. I do suggest at least um, one inch or one and a half inch just to give you some room. So this one doesn't have any pockets, which I kind of miss my pockets, but it's cute. So in the beginning, I put a little zipper bag or pencil case that goes into the three ring binder. And I keep my pens. I got some business cards, which I need to update. Um, some jump drives. I actually collect jump drives from events. So I just keep those on deck and use those. And I have like thank you cards and things like that in there. Then this is a little dashboard that I made. So it has a quote on here that's really, you know, inspiring. But on the other side, I use double-sided tape and stuck some post-its on there so I can just rip them out easily as I go through the binder. Then the infamous picture of my baby Peyton. Hey, boo. Then another quote, what would Beyonce do? Not that Beyonce is like Jesus or anything, but people act like Beyonce has like more time than we do and we have the same 12 hours yes she has more help but we still have the same amount of minutes hours and days so we can get them some things done then next I have this little half binder pocket I had to put some extra holes in there so this is just sort of like receipts business cards flyers posters things like that I can stick in here and then now to my calendar. So I'm going to do the monthly calendar. You see I'm already slacking for January. But I'm going to put in my friends and family's birthdays. That's number one, just so I don't forget if I'm working. And then I'll put what posts I have. So when someone contacts me for a sponsor post, I can immediately say, you know, I have a spot this day or this day or this day or this day. So I'm just going to write every day all my posts on here so I'll know what I have available. Because sometimes you get these emails for sponsored posts and you be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Then they all line up either the same week or on the same day. So you can kind of plan out your month. So, And this is a free printable and I will link to this. And uh, this is my to-do list. So I have the month. And then with the month, I'm going to write down all the things that I need to do. And I make this printable, so I just put every day I'm hustling, because I am. And, you know, you can check off each thing. So, you know, beginning of the month, just start writing down everything you need to do, whether you need to work on your Pinterest game or you need to clean up your email. Just write a to-do list. Just put everything down and then just start checking them off your list. And if you need another page, just print another page. And then this is a weekly list that I bought, it, or not bought, it was actually free, it's a free printable. I will link to that as well. Um, so it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, every day of the week. So if you have so much going on that you really need to have a detailed day, like events and whatnot, this is a good sheet to have. It's not dated, but you know, just go ahead and jot the date up here, you know, the week, and just keep it moving. So instead of dating, because sometimes I don't use these because... You know, if I, I don't want to just make up stuff to do, but if you need to be more like, okay, on Sunday, I need to take pictures, edit pictures, do this, do that, do that. These are good for those. So for my busy weeks, I do use these. So I put four pages after each month. And then let's get in these tabs. So this is, um again, a free printable monthly calendar that I found. And again, I will link it. I printed it on craft paper. So the color is craft. So it's just like that brown card stock, so it's super thick. So I just bought a stack of those and printed the 12 months. So it wasn't a uh, tab on it. So I just went ahead and bought the little, what do you call that? Little tabs. And just, they glue, I glued them on the back so you don't see the white part. And then I wrote on there. Now this is when a label maker would come in handy because I don't have the best handwriting. So I did my best. But I just went ahead and added the tabs. So that's every month. And then behind that, if I can get back here, I bought these dividers um, from the dollar spot in Target, which is your friend too when you're putting together 
uh, binders and cute things like this. So after that, I keep my, my income tracker. So when I know when I have outstanding invoice, I'm trying to keep it online more, but I do like to see who owes me money. <laughs> and so, and then that's my income tracker. And then I have my analytics or social media analytics tracker. So I can keep up if I'm like on a grind to try to get my numbers up, which I don't sweat too much. But, you know, if you want to get your numbers up, I got this from the blog action planner. It's actually from last year, but um, I just reprinted out another sheet. I'll try to see if she has a new one and link to that one as well. And then this is my blog metrics um, tracker. So, you know, see if your numbers are growing, if they're going up or down and you can notice trends and then, you know, if brands hit you up, you can tell them what your numbers are. And uh, note to self, if people ask you what your numbers are, make sure they got a check coming. Because if they want to know all that, then that means they want to pay. And you make sure you tell them a good rate. So anyway, and then I have this editorial calendar. Again, this came from my blog action planner from last year. So I just reprinted it off. This is like if I'm working on something that I need more details, I'm going to use this to kind of help me. And then now the one thing about this planner, I think I got a bad one because you just see this came out. But anyway, so just keep that in mind. Don't make me have to unload this and take it back. So anyway, I got a couple more tabs. I can print off contracts, put those in here. And then in back, I got more receipts. I just use a little washi tape. And then I have a folder. And this is um, just a folder I picked up. It's an old folder, but I do print out like my ebooks that I get from Imperfect Concepts or ICB Consults. She has great business uh, ebooks, and ebooks are super cheap and awesome. You get so much information from those. So, anyway, I just print out things like that and I put it back here. So, again, and a hole puncher is your friend. So, just get a hole puncher and you are good to go. So let me know if you have anything to add or what you do to stay organized for your blog.